Más entrevistas desde el Mobile World Congress 2013, seguimos con nuestra ronda. Esta vez no invitamos a alguien que no conocen, es el Small Cell Forum, el, el organismo que aglutina todo el desarrollo de las pequeñas celdas a nivel mundial. Y contamos con Andy, que es su presidente, que nos va a contar algunas novedades que están presentando aquí en el evento de su propia voz. Lo vamos a hacer en inglés, como siempre. Andy, welcome to Tele Semana. Gracias. So, de nada. Uh, so you have some announcements here at the show with the Small Cell Forum. Why don't you give us a wrap-up of what you are presenting and why this show is so critical for those operators looking into the Small Cell uh, phenomenon, let's say. Excellent. So, yeah, we have some major announcements coming out this week at uh, Mobile World Congress. The biggest announcement is our release plan. So the Small Cell Forum has taken all of the body of work that we've done over the past few years and packaged it into an overall release content. Why did we do that? Uh, the main reason is we've seen a number of operators uh, deploying small cells. We've got 60 uh, commitments to deploy in the small cell forum, but there's also many other operators who haven't deployed yet. So they're trying to really understand, you know, what are the benefits, what is the business case, how do I do it? So we've got all this experience, all this body of work, and so we've packaged it together in a release plan, and that's really what we're announcing uh, today at Mobile World Congress, is the first release is about the residential case. Okay. So that's the original case for uh, you know, better home coverage, um, customer retention, uh, bundling of services, so all the information on self-organizing networks, backhaul, um, rural applications, is all in this release one. Okay. And then we have other releases planned uh, over the next coming months that we'll talk about enterprise, and then also the Metro case, which is a really big case uh, that's also coming uh, to commercial markets this year. Now, when you said that your, it seems that the releases are going to be addressing different market segments, and you're starting by the home. Yes. Uh, and that sounds quite a bit good for perhaps the U.S. or mature markets, but not so much for emerging markets. It's that so? So obviously we have to start from somewhere, but that's that's right. That's a really good point. So it's not to say that the other markets are not ready yet. Um, so certainly enterprise market is happening. Uh, one third of our deployments uh, last year were enterprise deployments. And then this year uh, we're starting to see an emergence of uh, what we call metro or outdoor public space deployments, uh, especially in, uh, in South America. We've seen recently an announcement uh, from Alcatel Lucen of three major networks in uh, Venezuela, Mexico, and um, uh, other countries in, in South America. So deploying. Latin America is going the other way around. Yeah, it's really <laughs> taking off. Yeah. Well, we said that uh, last year at the show is, um, you know, a lot of the cases for residential uh, moves with the broadband deployment. You need to have the broadband backhaul. And in some markets, uh, broadband is growing very quickly in South mm -hmm. America, but the installed base is not as big in, say, uh, U.S. or Europe. So um, certainly the case for uh, residential is, is there, mm -hmm. it's just not as big of an addressable market because the broadband penetration is a little bit slower, is less today. Um, but um, for outdoor markets, enterprise markets, broadband is there, so the case is uh, yes, ready probably. now. Yes. Now, when we're talking about home, obviously we're talking about Femtos probably. And when we're talking yes. about Metro, we're talking about other types of Pico or Micro. Or My, yes, Micro so and Pico it, mainly. So you're addressing the different hardware kind of this is the logic behind these uh, steps or, or not? The hardware, uh, certainly, but also the, uh, the deployment, the provisioning, the handoff, the uh, self-organizing capability, so uh, the, the uh, management. So it's not really just about the, the hardware itself. That's, that's certainly a piece of it, but it's really more about the, uh, the overall use case, the provisioning, the backhaul. So a lot of these uh, things are very important um, in the different segments. Okay, you mentioned backhaul. What are the challenges for backhauling the small cells? So the other uh, important announcement from the small cell forum today is we've, we're announcing our backhaul white paper is coming out today. And the backhaul white paper is a very extensive body of work. It's uh, close to 90 pages. Um, it was chaired by a gentleman from uh, BT and okay. vice chaired uh, by a gentleman from Cambridge Broadband. And we've had uh, all of our members contributing to this paper over the past year. We created a backhaul special interest group because we realize in the uh, outdoor metro cell market, backhaul becomes very, very important. So this uh, 80, 90 page white paper really looks at all the aspects of backhaul, uh, fiber optics, uh, uh, wireless backhaul, you know, microwave, point to point, point to multipoint, uh, and even the residential cases like DSL, cable, and uh, even satellite for rural applications. So it's a very extensive body of work that looks at all types of cases for uh, backhaul, including jitter, um, any kind of considerations you need to have for uh, 3G and LTE networks. Okay, so I'm going to put you on the hot on the hot seat now, and I'm going to invite you to have a webinar with us, uh, presenting the results of this paper. If you know, if you find the time to. 
to uh, convince your uh, authors. No, I'd be, be happy to do that. That's a, it's very timely information. All right. Now, also you mentioned self-organizing networks, a key component. And sometimes we hear sun as, as being science fiction. And, and people are wondering, well, this sun is one of those things that the industry just you know, hypes about and then we seems we never hear about it. Right. Is sun crucial for small cell deployments? I think uh, for the, the plug and play and easy installation, SON is crucial in the sense that um, when you're talking about, uh, the other thing we're announcing today is uh, we've now deployed 11 million small cells. So that's up from 6 million just in September. Okay. So we're seeing extremely rapid growth in the market. It's forecast to be 90 million by 2016. So when you have that many cells out there, you really can't afford to send you know, a traditional RF engineer to every site, do site selection, site survey, yeah. RF planning. It has to be automated. So I think when you talk about SON being science fiction, it's probably more in the traditional uh, macro networks where it's still kind of evolving through the legacy uh, networks. Whereas in small cells, we've really had to have it from day one. And uh, that's not to say it's not going to get better. Mm -hmm. and we've learned a lot from the initial deployments. And we really believe that, that SON needs to improve. And another level of improvement needs to come for the outdoor cases like the metro and the micro and the pico. But that's all happening now. That's work that's going on in the forum. and. Uh, we see SON you know, working brilliantly today in networks, um, enterprise networks like in Norway, where they're deploying for, um, all you do is plug the small cell into the local area network, you plug another one in, you plug another one in, and they all organize within the business and do handoff and everything automatically. Okay, now final question would be about the business case. You said that one of the, the key issues operators will ask about. Yes. What is the business case for small cells? So the business case for small cell, we actually have a business case modeling tool that operators can come to the small cell forum and, and use our tool. On the website and, or? or? Uh, through the, uh, the website, through the membership uh, okay. organization. So come in as a member and, and then uh, you can tool? have access to the tool. It's a very extensive tool uh, produced by Signals Research. There was a couple of versions. We did a 3G version and then a 4G version. And they can um, plug in all their specific data to their network, whether it's rural, uh, metro, you know, big city, suburban area. They can also plug in different uh, use cases for like um, busy mobile professional with lots of devices or you know single device family, you know one PC. And you can have all these different uh, scenarios and it shows the, uh, the business case, the value for the operator to deploy small cells for that type of a user, whether it's enterprise, residential, um, uh, public space. So there's a very strong uh, business case that we're seeing. In fact, uh, one of the uh, results we're publishing today is showing that for, um, for rural networks, the deployment of, of a single small cell brings uh, about uh, $50,000 back of profitability to the network operator. In an urban environment, it's almost $200,000 of profitability for a small cell in that environment. So the business case is very strong for small especially, cells. Especially in urban areas, for one thing. Yes, yes, that's, that's key. In fact, it's not really just about the business case, but it's also about the user experience improvement. So we're seeing cases where you have one macro cell and maybe four small cells in a macro area, it improves the overall user experience by 300%. Actually, AT&T published something. They, they did yes. a trial somewhere, and they, they, they reported high Yeah, they high showed they could offload 50% of the traffic, and so you can imagine immediately the people that are on the small cell are getting better service because they have the full access to the 100 megabit LTE yeah. technology, but everybody in the macro cell actually it's benefits really because, yeah, they're taking the heavy users off the, uh, the macro, and so it gives a better experience for everybody. All right. Well, Andy, thank you so much. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell our audience to go to your website, and if they want to join the forum, then they have access to this tool where they can check the business case based on their parameters. Excellent. Right? Thank you very much. Thank you, Andy. <laughs> have a good show.